Hi! If you're watching this video, you're probably my friend, my family, or you're an upperclassman from high school looking into Columbia University, or you're a freshman, sophomore, junior from another school trying to transfer to this college. Maybe you're just new to my videos, so welcome! <laughs> Today, I want to talk about being a transfer student. I'm a sophomore right now. It's my second semester at Columbia University. And I think I'm going to double concentrate on East Asian studies and English. <laughs> so in this video, I won't be giving you advice or suggestions on how to get into Columbia University, what to do with your comment app, because I think you can easily find information like that on YouTube or any websites. I think it will be nice for me to share why I love this school so much. I'm editing right now, but I messed up the most important part of the intro, so... As I mentioned, I love Columbia University, but there are things that I wish I knew before I transferred here, and it would have made fall semester so much easier for me. Here are some things I wish I knew before I started my new chapter here. So the first thing is, it's all relative. And what does that mean? Just because someone is camping in the library 24 seven, just because someone is taking 22 credits while you're only taking 14, just because he's in or she's in five clubs and you're only in two, doesn't mean you're not doing enough, doesn't mean you're not good enough, doesn't mean you don't belong to Columbia University. Like I definitely had some imposter symptoms when I first came here. I was like, how are these people so intense, so hardworking, so sure of the future, like they're doing everything right. I assure you, that most people here are kind of lost even though they look like they have their shits put together. Like that's not true at all. For some people, getting best academic performances or getting all the good leadership roles is what matters to them. But if what matters to you is talking to people, making new friends, experiencing New York City, then do what makes you feel happy. Do what is most fulfilling for you. Make sure you're giving yourself enough time outside of school because whether it is having some alone time or it's spending time with your friends, cooking together or going to a pocha together, trying out new food. I think everything, all these experiences add up to your college experiences. Understand what you want, what's the best for you and how you can get the most out of your college experience. I think that is something that I wish I knew in the beginning of the school year so I wasn't comparing myself to other people because I feel like I don't fit into this school because everyone is just so confident but I feel like I'm not. No, don't think that way. And the second thing is, you don't need to be in a lot of clubs to be successful. In the beginning of the semester, you see people apply to so many clubs. There's gonna be this hype of go to club fair, make sure you're in one, two, three, four, five clubs. I remember when I was applying to six clubs and got rejected to four, I was like, why is it even harder to apply to clubs than getting into Columbia University? It just didn't make sense to me, but that's just how it is. If only in the beginning I realized that clubs is actually not as important as we think they are, I would be so much less anxious. Like obviously I would recommend you to be in one or two just to get to know people, just to maybe find people with the same interest. If you do end up being rejected to a club or you see your friends applying for so many clubs, but you yourself feel like, I'm not gonna benefit from any of them, then it's okay, it's totally fine. You don't have to apply. That's number two. Number three, which is something I continue to keep in mind of, is that it's okay and it's completely normal to be lonely during college. For me, I think becoming a college student also means becoming more of an individual. We sometimes get really caught up in the working pace or like always socializing. It sounds very vague and cringy, but at the same time, once you're in college, sometimes it feels like if you're not doing something, you're wasting time. Yesterday night before going to bed, I was thinking about plans for today. I was like, oh, I don't have anyone to eat lunch with. I should text Jean, I should text Jane, I should text Victoria, April, Crystal. Instead of thinking, hey, why not cook for myself or spend some time watching YouTube or just tidying my room? Why not be productive by yourself? You don't have to be dependent on someone to feel happy. It's okay to be alone and I wish I normalized it more in the beginning. Number four, a very practical one. Get the cheapest meal plan. Go for the cheapest one, plan D. Because I realize making your own food or just getting something cheaper outside of school is way better than getting a meal plan because I got plan B for fall semester and I could not finish my slides at all. 
Anyways, I was trying so hard just to suck my meals out and it was kind of stressful. So I immediately changed to plan B for spring semester and I'm so glad I did. Number five, track your expenses. <laughs> Living in New York City, we already know that things are expensive, but you don't know how much you're spending until you look at your records and you'll be like, <laughs> if you want to be cost effective and be aware of how much money you're spending, really, really download an app or just write it down how much money you're spending every day because I didn't do that and I spent so much money on food, shopping and just going out in general without realizing so for the spring semester I've been recording my daily expenses number six I know partying is part of college but you don't need to go to bars you don't need to drink you don't need a club in order to meet new people I know people who don't party at all and still make good friends I'm not a party person and I still have really nice friends here So yeah, number seven, you don't need to be nice to everyone. <laughs> this is a mistake I made during fall semester is that I think I was afraid that if I wasn't being nice, they wouldn't like me as much. They wouldn't want to be my friend. I was giving a lot to the point where I put people first instead of myself. I wanted to be likable. And I think that is a very common mistake when you're trying to make friends is that you're constantly thinking about how do I fit into others' preferences rather than just being yourself. So I wish during fall semester I could express myself in a better way instead of just like accommodating to what people want. I think this is a very important one no matter where you go and hopefully this is helpful for you. <laughs> But yeah, here's are the seven things that I wish I knew. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I'm like kind of bad at explaining stuff, but if you guys are interested in my story about like chanting or just being in college in general, just let me know and I'll see you guys next time.